get right away to what U.S. officials are calling an act of terror against American workers in the North African country of Algeria. Dozens of hostages, including U.S. citizens, were captured by Islamist militants seizing a natural gas facility on Wednesday. ABC's Brian Ross has been tracking all the latest on this. Good morning to you, Brian. Well, good morning, Elizabeth. Overnight, Algerian troops surrounded the compound where are reported seven American hostages are being held, along with French, British, Norwegian, and Japanese workers, also captured by terrorists claiming they are part of Al-Qaeda. There is growing concern this morning about the fate of the hostages, being held in the middle of the Sahara Desert at the residential compound for workers at a natural gas facility partially owned by BP. Intelligence officials say the situation is tense. It is a very serious matter when Americans uh, are taken hostage uh, along with others. The terror strike came without warning Wednesday morning when an estimated 20 gunmen first attacked a bus carrying workers, escorted by two cars carrying security teams. At least one worker was killed. Then the terrorists moved on to the compound, where they are now holed up with the American and other Western hostages. <laughs> Intelligence officials believe this is the mastermind of the attack, Mokhtar Bel Mokhtar a ruthless rogue al-Qaeda leader who bizarrely also runs an African organized crime network that reportedly has made tens of millions of dollars in ransom from kidnappings and the successful smuggling of diamonds, drugs and cigarettes. His nickname is Mr. Marlborough. He's very, very cold, very businesslike. Canadian Robert Fowler, a former UN diplomat in Africa, was held hostage for four months by Belmokhtar until freed in 2009. Fowler says he is a man to be feared. I was afraid for my life all the time. I was afraid for my life when I woke up in the morning and when I went to sleep at night. But he's a very serious player. Intelligence officials say the situation would be much easier if all the terrorists wanted was money. But Belmokhtar's group says it wants the French army to stop its campaign against al-Qaeda in Africa. And officials say now with the element of surprise gone, a raid to free the hostages by the U.S. or Algeria would be very, very difficult.